If we want to get our bodies in shape, what do we do? We go and see a personal trainer. Well, in Perpetual Guardian Money Matters today, we're chatting to the finance world's equivalent. Good morning, Charlotte. And you've brought someone in who can help us with our financial health. Well, I certainly have today. I have brought Hannah McQueen, her businesses enable me. It's been around for eight years. She's uh, written a book and everything. And personal financial training is what she does. She's the expert in the field. Well, Hannah, good morning to you. Good morning. I must say, you're looking very super nanny today. <laughs> very, so I'm going to I'm take channeling your... the command. <laughs> <You> <laughs> Now, we're familiar with mortgage brokers and financial planners. What exactly does a financial personal trainer do? Well, if you go to a gym, you have a personal trainer, and people who would use a personal trainer might be someone who's unfit, maybe a little bit sluggish or overweight, mm -hmm. through to those who are athletes and they have a coach to get the very best out of them. Yep. We do it from a financial perspective. So some of our clients are financially sluggish. Some of them are just starting out. Some of the, them are financially fit, but all of them are capable of getting ahead faster than what they currently are doing, okay, and so they use us to So do. you're not just going to sort of stand over me and yell at me to do more press-ups and things? Well, Don't spend the money on the coffee! Yeah, well, so Sometimes you go to a personal trainer, right, they tell you things that you might know you need to do, but you actually need someone to keep you accountable to actually make you turn up to the gym in the first place, through to they're going to unlock and use all their smarts and their intellects to get you fitter faster. It's yeah. the same from a financial perspective. Absolutely. So talk me through the psychology of spending. I mean, how, why do we spend? How do we spend? Well, you find that people are divided into two broad categories. You're either a shopper or you're a saver. So a shopper is someone who derives emotional satisfaction from spending money, which would be me. I don't have to spend big amounts. I can spend little amounts often and I'm happy. And a saver is someone who's naturally tight, uh, happy to go without because they get pleasure from their savings growing. And then a plodder would be someone who's not really a shopper but doesn't have much to show for the fact that they're not really a shopper. Okay. So you I've... kind of fit into one of those categories and... Shopper. I'm definitely a shopper. Y yeah. I wish I was a saver. What about men and women? Do they spend differently? Yeah, females do tend to spend little amounts often, whereas guys can be quite tight on a day-to-day -day basis, but when they find the thing they want to buy, they feel quite justified. And if they've done a smidge of research behind it, they feel more justified. I'd still call that person a shopper, just an infrequent shopper. Yeah, that would be my husband with the Holden Kingswood, 1974. Needs a <laughs> bit of work on it. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, I had the coffees, he had that. So you've, uh, you've identified three financial stages, two in people's lives. What are they? Yes. Yeah, so so you're either starting out, so you don't yet have a mortgage, you're trying to get onto the property ladder, or you're building up, so you've got a mortgage but now you need to get rid of it if you're going to have a shot at retirement, through to you've got a plan to sort your retirement. And traditionally people would be in their 20s and 30s in the starting out stage, 30s and 40s and 50s in the building up ready to retire. Now we're kind of 20 years later, so a whole generation later we're getting started. And what happens is that people can be moving along but then they get this financial Mack truck event yeah. and they're back at the beginning, they've just got half the amount of time to get to where they needed to be. Okay. So I guess we deal with the reality and a lot of people with finances, they assume that if you just spend less than you earn, you're going to be okay. And it's like, yeah, but... But how hard is that? Because that's like telling me if you want me to lose weight, I just need to exercise more and eat less. It's like, I get it. I know that, yeah. But who's going to tell me? Who's going to make me or support me to do that? Mm. And, yeah, that's where we're, the space that we work in. Well, you've given us a whole lot to think about, Hannah. Charlotte, thank you both so much for coming in today. Our excellent advice, Hannah from Enable Me. And uh, Charlotte, we'll see you next week in Perpetual Guardian Money Matters.